And Denise, wow, what an interview. Tell us about how you felt doing that interview and kind of what your perspective is. Um, well, I guess I went in there, you know, knowing I had read about Ray and his childhood. He had a very difficult childhood. He went into a little bit of it there, but extremely difficult. His dad died when he was not even one year old or was uh, just one year old. Uh, he saw other relatives um, lost to violence. So he had a very tough childhood. So I'd read about him, but I had never really talked with him or met him. So I went in there, you know, with the perspective. I'm full disclosure on the board of a of an organization that works for domestic and violence survivors. So I went in there with a certain um, need to hold him to the fire, I guess you'd mm -hmm, say. Mm -hmm. um, we talked for over an hour and a half, and I would say when I left, I felt like the man is genuine. I feel like he is highly mature. He has done all the work he describes. He's done clearly. He's still working on himself. And um, I was very happy to hear, maybe this will summarize it, from a friend who was in the stadium Sunday, I was not lucky enough to be, that apparently they caught his image up on the jumbotron <clears throat> and the whole stadium cheered and with glee. Because I feel the man is now a citizen of our city again. He gives and gives and gives. He has a foundation. And um, I was happy to see the city embraced him Sunday. All right. And Denise, we talked about this. You walk away, you, you held him to the fire. You certainly did. You pulled no punches. And he didn't shy away from anything. Nope. So did you walk away from that feeling that he and his family have truly moved on? Oh, I absolutely do. Um, I asked if I could show up at the practice uh, with his son, and they easily could have said, no, we don't want the family on, on camera. They were happy to have me there. They were, they greeted me warmly, you know. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he said going into the interview, nothing is off limits. And I think that shows that he, you know, he said to us in this tape more than once, I did a bad thing. I got punished. That's the way it's supposed to be in this culture. And um, I think as the world of athletes go, the man is really has a lot to teach and to share. And he does do, mo he doesn't like to call it motivational speaking, but he goes and he talks to other NFL teams. He talks to college teams. He talks to young people whenever he gets requests. He takes his daughter with him often. Mm -hmm. So she hears his perspective. She hears him tell his story. I think he has a lot to teach. Um, I'm not going to say only athletes. I think all men can learn from yes. Ray. Mm -hmm. I think we can all learn from Ray on how you forgive yourself and how you move on in life oh. in a mature way. Yeah, admire your questions and respect his responses. Yes. You know, definitely. I re absolutely sense. respect the man. All right. Thank you so much, Denise. And that full interview with Ray Rice is streaming tonight at 6.30 p.m. Not to mention this football season, Ray Rice is joining Rick Ritter, Alex Glaze, and Mark Viviano for Purple Connection, streaming on CBS News Baltimore. You can stream that show Mondays at 7.30 p.m.